day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We say good morning to each and every one of you that has tuned into the Church of the Holy City, where the Spirit of the Lord is in full control. Our pastors and founder is the Honorable Bishop Nathaniel and First Lady Minister Queen Dupree. And we want to take this time to wish our bishop a happy birthday. He celebrated on July 2nd. God bless him to see 85 years. Yes. Amen. And we're so blessed to have a great man of God to shepherd us. We ask you to stay tuned until 9 a.m. because our speaker on this morning will be Elder Michael Whitehead Sr. Yes. Amen. We also ask you to tune in online again from 12 noon until 1 p.m. Our speaker for that service will be Elder Patrick Neal Bronat. Amen. Amen. By, by way of special announcement, all services remain canceled here at the Church of the Holy City. However, we will continue to broadcast live on WEVA 860 AM on your radio dial, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Church of the Holy City, or you can watch us live on our uh, website page, www.holycitychurch.org, or you can connect with us through all social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, if you have prayer requests that you would like to send electronically, you can visit our church website to send those prayer requests uh, in, or you can call our church line right now at 434 Three four eight three one seven two. Someone is available to pray with you. Also, we want to encourage you to continue to sow your seeds into the house of the Lord. Continue to pay your tithes so that God can continue to open the windows of heaven and pour us out blessings that we have room enough that we don't have room enough to receive. Amen. Because this is the year of increase, and you can bring those offerings down to the church sanctuary. Someone will be available today until 1:30 p.m. Or you can do it right at home or at work, wherever you are. Cash app, Holy City 68. Or you can mail those seeds to the Church of the Holy City, P.O. Box 175, Emporia, Virginia, 23847. In advance, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of your prayers. Thank you for all of your financial contributions. Thank you for continuing to connect with us and hearing the word of God, helping us to reach the lost for Christ. And we pray that God continue to increase you in every area of your lives. At this time, we're going to go ahead and go into the Old Testament scripture reading. At this time, please receive Missionary Jackie Sloan. Praise the Lord, church. Come on, give God praise because he's worthy to be praised. First, I'm going to give honor to God today, to the bishop, to the co-pastor, the first lady, and to everyone in the house of God, and to you out there by way of listening. I'll be going to the first book's of Psalms beginning at the first verse. Amen. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes. nor sitteth in the way of sinners, mm -hmm. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yes. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, yes. and his law doth he meditate day and night. Yes. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water yes. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yes. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do it shall prosper. Amen. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Yes. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteousness. Uh -huh. For the Lord knows the way of the righteousness, yes. but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. I have read the book, the uh, song, the first book, May the Lord add a blessing to his already blessed word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We thank Missionary Jackson for the reading of the Old Testament scripture reading. At this time, we're going to go to God in a word of prayer with Missionary Whitehead. On our prayer list today, we're praying for Mother Christine Bronax, Mother Lizzie Mae Seals, Mother Doris Jones, Mother Mary Brown, Brother Joe McDowell, Pastor Heyman McCray, Brother Key Earl Baker, Brother Travis Owens, Southside Regional Jail. We're praying for all school systems. We're praying for our 2020 graduates. Yeah. We're praying yeah. for families who have lost loved ones. We're praying for all of our members. Amen. To everyone that is connected under the sound of our voices right now, amen. this prayer goes out to you, Missioner Delta Whitehead. Amen, amen, amen. First, I just get on to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to my bishop, to the co-pastor, to the first lady, to all the elders, ministers, missionaries, digging saints, and friends. 
and to you, you, and you out in ready your name. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Precious and everlasting Father, yes, yes, we come Lord. to you this morning, Father God, as meek and armor as we do know how, Father yes, God. Yes, Father God, thank you for waking us up this morning, Amen. Lord God. Father God, Amen. aid us to put on our garments piece by piece, Father Amen. God. Father God, we have food on our table this morning, Father Amen. God. And Father God, as some of us looked around on this morning, Father God, our family circles was not broken, yes. Father God. And Father God, for the cause, we just want to say thank you on this morning, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, I ask that you will come in the midst on the service on this morning, Father God. Father God, I ask that you will have your way, Father God. Father God, I ask that you will show up, Father God, and show out, Lord God. Father God, because we need a word this morning from you, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you this morning for all things, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you for everything, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you how you have been protecting us, Father God, from all hurt, harm, and dangers, Father God. And Father God, for the cause, I just want to say thank you on this morning, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, because you have been so good, Father God. You have been mighty, mighty good to us this morning, Father God. And Father God, I just want to say thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, I ask you to bless the one's name that was called out on the prayer list, Father God. Father God, the ones that was not called out on the prayer list, Father God. Father God, whatever they stand in the need of on this morning, Father God. Father God, I ask that you would do it in a mighty way, Father God. And Father God, I know there is nothing too hard for you, Father God. There is nothing, Father God, that is impossible for you, Father God. Father God, if they stand in need of a healing this morning, Father God. Father God, heal the body from sugar diabetes, Father God. Father God, heal the body from high blood pressure, Father God. Father God, heal the blood from low blood pressure, Father God. Father God, heal the body from whatever they stand in need of on this morning, Father God. Father God, I ask that you will go into the hospitals on this morning, Father God. Father God, heal, deliver, and set free, Father God. Father God, go into the common national home, Father God. And Father God, let them know that they're not alone, Lord God. Father God, I also ask you to go into the mental institution, Father God, and the jail cells, Father God. Father God, they may be locked up, Father God, but they are not locked up from you, Father God. Father God, just have your way, Father God. Have your way, Father God, in our lives, Father God. Father God, because we need you, Father God. Some of us think that we don't need you, Lord God, but Father God, we need you, Lord God. Father God, I need you on this morning, Father God, and I'm pretty sure a lot more of us need you this morning, Father God. So, Father God, just bless us, Father God. Father God, however you want to do it, Father God. Just bless us, Lord Jesus. Father God, come into the midst of the service on this morning, Father God. Bless the man of the hour, Father God. Father God, bless him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, Father God. Father God, because we need a word on this morning, Father God. Father God, I need a word on this morning, Father God. That's going to carry me through the week, Father God. Father God, bless our bishop on this morning, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you for giving him 85 years, Father God. Father God, we ask that you would give him many, many more, Father God. Bless the man of God, Father God. Father God, bless the first lady, Father God. Father God, bless the co-pastor, Father God. Father God, bless each and every one of us, Father God. In the sound of my voice, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we love you on this morning, Father God. Father God, we can't do nothing without you, Father God. Father God, we look to the hills which flow with our help, Father God. Father God, because we know all of our help. All of our help comes from you, Lord God. And we can't do nothing without you holding our hands, Father God. And for that cause, I just want to say thank you on this morning, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father God. Any way you bless us, Lord God, we will be satisfied. In the name of the Father. Son and the precious Holy Ghost. My soul say amen. 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 We thank Missionary Whitehead for that powerful prayer. Thank you, Lord. At this time, we're going to go into our New Testament scripture reading by Minister Patrick Bronax Jr. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Amen. I thank God, amen, for waking me up this morning. I do give honor to the Lord, amen, who is the head of my life. I give honor to my pastor and the co-pastor and first lady and everyone at respectful places, amen. Good morning to each of you that are under the sound of my voice. At this time, I want to take my scripture text from the book of St. John, chapter number 14, beginning at verse number 15. And the word of God reads on this wise, if ye love me, keep my commandments, yes. and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, yes. that yes. he may abide with you forever, yes. 
even the spirit of truth, yeah. whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, yeah. neither knoweth him, but ye know him, yeah. for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Yeah. I will not leave you comfortless, yeah. I will come to you. Yeah. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Yeah. Yeah. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye and me, and I and you. He that hath my commandments keepeth them. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. Yeah. And I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Right. Judas said unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, right. and not unto the world? Right. Jesus answered and said unto him, yeah. If a man love me, he right. will keep yeah. my words. Yeah. If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. The word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Last verse. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. I just read the book of St. John, chapter 14, verses 15 through 26. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the Holy Ghost. We thank God for Minister Patrick Ronak from the New Testament scripture reading. At this time, we're going to go a little bit higher to get that word to jumpstart our week early this morning. And we have a great man of God who is going to bring forth the word of the Lord on this morning. At this time, would you all receive Elder Michael Whitehead Sr. Amen. Amen. God right is now. a good God. All right now. To have the witnesses in the building. Yeah. I know yeah. he's a good God. Yeah. He's a mighty God. Mighty. Ain't hey, nothing God cannot do. Yeah. I do honor my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today and yes. my Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel Dupree and the yes. First Lady, yes. Co-Pastor and everybody, all the elders and yeah. girls and you that are listening out there this morning. Come on. God is still a good God. Yeah. Everybody celebrating independence, but I'm depending on Jesus. Come on now. To carry me through. Come on. Are you depending on Jesus this morning? Yeah. God is mighty good. We're going through yeah. an era of time, and I don't stand here to sugarcoat and I'm coming to tell you the truth this morning. God is a good God. That's right. We got some difficult days ahead, and some of you have seen some difficult days. But I come to give you good news that Jesus is still standing by. Come on, son. Jesus is still the way. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it this morning. Yeah. This morning I'm going right to the word, the word of God. This morning we're coming from John chapter 14. Very familiar passage of Bible, passage of scripture, John chapter 14, verse 1 through 7. All right. And going to add 13 and 14. We're going to see how that work out. Come on. God gave me this some time ago and it laid heavy on my heart. And yeah. Very great friend of mine met through my wife of Pastor in Garrettsburg, North Carolina, Pastor Robert Sessoms. And, uh, and the topic, he preached his sermon one Sunday on my way home. Come on. Went back and sat in his pastoral chair and never got up no more. Come on. They tried to wake him up for the benediction, but he was gone home. All right. So I, I told my That's wife, right. I said, I like that sermon. He preached. Yeah. But you'll yeah. never know when is your last sermon. Oh, no. And I told Don't my know. wife some time ago, I, I tell my wife and my daughter, I often tell them I'm not going to be with y'all always. Yeah. You know, I try to learn how to do some things for yourself. Come on now. I said, but the one thing I know about God, God is a way maker. Come on. And I know Jesus is the way. Come on. So this morning I was subject to be on my way home. Come on now, sir. Because truly speaking, we all on our way home. Come on now. Am I right about it this morning? Yeah. We got to leave this old troubled world. Yeah. And we got to go and live with Jesus. Come on now. But in order to live with Jesus, you got to be one of his own. Come on, son. You got to belong to God. Because God said in Socrates, if my people. My people. You got to be one of God's people. Come on. You can't belong to the devil and get with God. If you're with the devil, you're going to be with the devil. Amen. If you're with God, God is my people. Come which on. Which are called by my name. Yeah. Great God, I feel like preaching this Come month. on now. Get on to the Preach. word. Get Preach. on to the word. To the word. Preach. The scripture reads as dust. Let not your heart be troubled. 
You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many masters. If it were not so, I would have told you. Yeah. This is what Jesus said now. I go to prepare a place for you. Yeah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again yeah. and receive you unto myself. That's what he's saying. And that where I am, uh. there ye may be also. Where are yeah. you going to be? He said, where I am. Yeah, good with God Jesus. Almighty. Wherever Jesus, there you may be also. Yeah. We're gonna be with Jesus, and whether I go, ye know. Yeah, and the way you know. Yeah, this is what Thomas said. Go ahead. Thomas said unto him, Lord, uh. we cannot know whether thou goest, uh -huh. and how can we know the way? Go ahead now. Great God from talk God. To us, talk to Jesus us. said unto him, Yeah, and to all of us, uh. I am the way. Go ahead. The truth and the light. Go ahead now. No man cometh unto the Father Ain't but by me. Got to come through. No matter how much money you got. Come on. How tall you are. Come on. How short you are. Yeah. How many friends you have. Yeah. You can't get to him but by, by to the Father. You come got on. to know Jesus. Come on, son. That's the only way. Uh. The seventh verse said, if you had known me, you should have known my Father. Come on, son. If you know me, you should have known my father my also. Father. And from his forth, you know him. Go ahead now. And have seen him. Yeah. The 13th verse. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name. Go ahead. That will I do. Go ahead. That the father may be glorified in the son. Talk to us. Final verse. If you shall ask anything. What? If ye shall ask anything. Anything. In my name, whatever it is, I will do it. Yeah. If you need deliverance, yeah, you just ask. Hey. If you need a blessing, yeah, just ask. Hey. If you need to be healed hey. from the coronavirus, just ask. Go ahead, son. The Bible say anything hey. that you need, just ask. Yeah. Go ahead. Many words on my mouth in the meditation that hide be accepted in that sight. Oh Lord, my strength Go and ahead. my redeemer. Hey. Thank you, Lord. If hey. part of scripture you have heard in your reading, you believe that you have to believe on Jesus Christ. Go ahead now. And I know this morning that I am a believer. Go ahead. On Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Jesus said, I go to a prayer place for you. Uh. And where I am, there you may be also. Yeah. I know in our lifetime, my brother and sister that are listening to me by Facebook, however you may be tuned in, that oftentimes when we leave our job or we leave, so we, we say we own, we're going on back home. Go ahead. We own our way home. Yeah. I've been a truck driver for 30 some years, and my last load on the of my mind is to get home. Go ahead. I'm on my way home. Go ahead now. Because I know when I get home, I can find rest for a little while. Go on now. When I get home, I know there'll be some prepared to eat when I get there. Go ahead. I know when I get home, I'm in a comfort zone. Go ahead. But I stopped by to encourage you this morning, there is another home. Come on. Much greater than the home that we build out of brick and moss. Go ahead. A home much greater than our beautiful windows and our beautiful hardwood floors and our stained glass and everything looks so beautiful. But we got to leave it one day. Come on now. There's a home that Jesus prepared for. Go ahead. Great God from Zion. That's the home I want to reference to this morning. That's a home that was never play out. Hey. See, the homes that we have down here that we that are tangible, they will get old. Talk about. They will get molded. Yeah. They will rot away. Talk. But Jesus said, Go ahead. He said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. Go ahead now. And where I am, there you may be also. Yeah. But I stopped by this morning and asked you, are you prepared to meet Jesus? Come on now. Are you one that he can call on? Go ahead. One that he knows that he can depend on you? Yeah. To shine that beacon light to help someone else find their way home. Come on, son. Am I right about it this morning? Come on now. A lot of times in life you will meet somebody that said they don't know the way. Even Thomas said unto him, Lord, uh. we know not whether that goes. Go ahead. And how can we know the way? I thank God for Jesus all my years of living and all my great pastors told me Sunday in and Sunday out. 
Wednesdays and Friday night, he always said that Jesus is the way. Go ahead. Then he backed it up with the Bible, the, the basic instruction before leaving this earth. And, and I stopped by to tell you a lot of people had left this earth. Go ahead. Some left under different circumstances. Go ahead. But I stopped by to let you know whatever circumstance that you lead on. Go ahead. I know Jesus is the way. Go ahead. No other way that I tried work. Go ahead now. I'm not ashamed of my past because my past would take me to my future. Go ahead now. I tried a lot of things before I tried Jesus. Yeah. Because I said them folks in church, they don't know what they're talking about. Well. I believe I tried my way of the work. Yeah. But my way did not work. Yeah. My way brought me a whole lot of difficulty. Well. My way brought me trouble on every side. Yeah. My, my way brought me, I was heartbroken. Well. I met up with financial difficulty. Yeah. But one day, sitting oh. right over there, Talk about on a New Year's Eve, yeah. the Spirit of the Lord met my spirit. Go ahead. And the Spirit of the Lord beat my spirit down. Go ahead. The Spirit of the Lord convinced me one day yeah. that I was persuaded Go ahead. that I would let nothing separate me from the love of God. Go ahead. One day I decided I needed Jesus. One day. Because my friend was a little shady. Go ahead. My friend left me when my money ran out. Go ahead. I was something like the prodigal son. Yes. As long as I was spending money, I had a car load. Yes. But when the money got low, yes. and I tried to consult my wife, and she was like, get on out of my face. Yes. You ain't going to spend no more money. Yes. My friends got food. Go ahead, my friends walked away. Yes. But when I found Jesus, Go ahead, good God Almighty, Come on. and I hooked up with Jesus, yes. I found I had a friend that I could depend on. When I found Jesus, my pockets never got low. Go ahead. I was like the widow woman Go ahead. with the meal barrel. Well. The meal barrel did never run out. Go ahead. And I found me some new friends. Hey. Great God from Zion. I found some friends Go ahead. that didn't hide behind a phony smile. Go ahead. I found some real folks in Jesus. Go ahead. I found some folks that said Jesus is the way. Go ahead. He is the truth and the life. I had to hook my life up with Jesus. Am I right about it this morning? Yeah. I seen the lightning flash. And I heard the thunder roar. But I heard Jesus stand one day and knock at my door. And I let him in. And my life began to change. But Jesus told me one day, you got to get on your way home. But before you go home, to glory, get in contact with me because I am a way maker. I am a burden bearer. I am one that you can call on when times get critical, when times get crucial, when times you, know, you don't know your way. But I'm so glad this morning that any problem I have, I can give it to Jesus. Am I right about it this morning? I found out that Jesus was the way. He made a way for me. He made a way for you. Am I right about it this morning? Did he pick you up out of a horror pit? Place your feet on a solid Break ground. It out. Break it out. I'm so glad this morning that I know God will. He will do it for you. Break it out. Am I right about it this morning? It a lot of folks is worried. And a lot of folks are confused. But there is no confusion in Jesus Christ. Go ahead, preach. Peace, I am the author and the finisher of your faith. I am the alpha and the omega. I am the beginning and the end. So I want to be right in the middle. It out. I ain't got to be in the front. I ain't got to be in the back. But I'm going to ride right in the Break middle. Because I'm on my way home. And we're all on our way home. Good God Almighty. I'm on my way home. And when I get home... I'm not worried because Jesus said I'm Come going away. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. Go ahead. When I get there, everything is prepared. Go ahead. All I got to do Go ahead. is repent and live right. I got to live right for Jesus. Go ahead. You can't get to any old kind of way. You can't get that lying, cheating, and stiff. Go ahead. Whole mother and sin. You got to get there the right way. Because Jesus said, where I am... <laughs> Tell you may be also. I want to be with Jesus. I love this world. Go ahead. But this world is not my home. Go ahead. It's just a place that you got to dress up and you got to get in contact with Jesus. You can't see Jesus after you leave this world if you don't know him while you're here. Go ahead. You got to know Jesus. 
Good. And Jesus said, I am the shepherd. And ye are my sheep. Good. You are the sheep of my pastor. Yes. And I'm so glad this okay. morning that I am one of his. Yeah. How you know you're one of his? Because yeah. I feel the spirit in me. Walking on the inside, wait, wait, wait. coming on the outside. Come on, son. Are you all right? Yeah. It's on your way home. On my way I'm home. on my way home. Reach it out. I'm reminded by the story. Go ahead. This little old lady. Go ahead. She had lost everything she had. Go ahead. She was a widow. Go ahead. Her husband had died. Yeah. Her children was gone away. And she went and looked for something to eat, and everything was gone. Go ahead. She didn't have nothing to depend on. Yeah. Nobody but God. Yeah. But she remember her mother gave her a letter. Go ahead. And they put the letter in her Bible. Go ahead. And she said, when things get hard, uh, you just get this letter. Uh, and you hold on to this letter. The old lady thought about it. I got the letter that mama left me. Yeah. And I never opened it up. Go ahead. But I'm going to get this letter. Go ahead. And I'm going to go on down to the grocery store. Hell it, son. Nothing but this letter. Yeah. She went outside and yeah. the old car wouldn't crank. Yeah. But her husband had old wreck truck. Go ahead. Old 55 Ford. Go ahead. With old home wreck on it. She cranked that old wreck truck up. Old lady climbed up in the wreck. Took a big pocketbook with her. Go ahead. Took the old wreck and went on down reach, toward reach, the grocery reach, store. Yeah. She went on around the curve. And this Mercedes Benz had broke down. Go ahead. The man jumped around. Old lady, can you help me? Yeah. She said, I don't know how to operate this truck. He said, I called Triple A, but they ain't on time. Go ahead. But how many you know God is on time? Yeah. But the old, the young man Break took the old record. I'm wearing old rusty whip. Hooked to his Mercedes Benz. That old tow truck pulled him out. And he looked at the lady and said, lady, what do you charge me? She said, anything you want to get me. Yeah. The man looked at it and said, I'll give you something the next time. Go ahead. I'll come back and give you so I don't have nothing right now. Yeah. All I got is my credit card. Go ahead. Oh, lady clam back in the record. Go ahead. Went on down to the grocery store. Go ahead. Got her car and filled it up. Uh-huh. Knowing she didn't have no money. Go ahead, son. Got chicken and beef and everything. Hey. Fill the car up. Yeah. Push it up to the counter. Yeah. Store manager looked out. Uh-huh. He rung up everything. Uh-huh. Looked at the old lady and said, this is what the mountain come to. Uh-huh. He said, how you paying? Uh-huh. She said, all I got is this letter. Yeah. He looked at a letter. That's no cash money. The man said, hold on, lady. I got something for you. Go ahead. I'm going to the back. I'm going to get my scale. And if your letter outweigh that grocery, uh-huh. you can have it all. Go ahead. Old man went in the back and got the scale. Go ahead. When he told the scale to the front, one of his chains fell off. Go ahead. And he didn't know. Uh-huh. Put the grocery on the scale. Yeah. Set the lady a letter on the scale. Yeah. That letter outweighed all the grocery. Uh-huh. He said, I'm a man of my word. You get all the grocery. Go ahead. The lady said, I know my God is good. Go ahead now. Lord, the grocery up, pushing him outside. The man came out behind him. He said, Miss, you don't mind. Can I take a look at that letter? Go ahead. Can I open it up and see what's in it? Yeah. Open the letter up. Uh-huh. And look at the letter. Go ahead. And the letter read. Go ahead. God will supply. Go ahead. All of my needs. That's what he said. According to my riches and glory. Yes. Great God from Zion. Go ahead, sir. Don't you know God will? Go ahead. God will Go ahead. supply all of your needs. Yeah. The lady got all her groceries. Go ahead. The man on the Mercedes being passed the back. Yeah. Said he had no money. Yeah. But God will. God will. He will make a way. Yeah. So in my conclusion. Yeah. Why you on your way home? Yeah. Don't get dismayed. Go ahead, son. Don't get disturbed. Yeah. Just hold on a little while longer. Yeah. Cause God will supply. Go ahead now. All our needs. Yeah. According to his riches and glory. Yeah. And the last time I checked. Yeah. God can fulfill. Yeah. Every need. Yeah. Whatever you need is. Yeah. God can fulfill it. Uh. Like I forestated. Go ahead. If you need healing, he'll heal you. Go ahead. If you need deliverance, he'll deliver you. Yeah. If you need a spouse, Go ahead. he'll send you one. Yeah. If you need money, yeah. he is money. Go ahead. If you need food, Go ahead. he is food Go ahead. for a starving nation. Yeah. Whatever you need, hey. you have not. God, God. So you ask not. Yeah. The Bible say it. Yeah. And the Bible read it. Yeah. Anything that you ask hey. in my name. My name. I will do it. I will. He said, I will do it. I will do it. And I've been around here. I him. will. I will. I've been around here for a while. Yeah. And I never know nothing. Yeah. That I asked God to do. Go ahead now. And he didn't do it. Yeah. 
He's an amazing miracle worker. Go ahead. Oftentimes, Amen. some years ago, I, I counted my money up on my way home and didn't have enough to pay my bills like Go I wanted. But I tell you, God never failed me. Come on. I tell you, I didn't radio land, get hooked up with Jesus. Yeah. He was a way maker. Yeah. When I thought I didn't have no money, I yeah. had money other places. Go ahead now. God is a supplying God. Yeah. He will supply. He will. Don't let nobody tell you that God won't do it for yeah. you. He is a supplying God. Yeah. On our way home. On my way home. On my way home. Yeah. If you don't have it no more. Go ahead now. Remember what I say. Yeah. Get hooked up with Jesus. Hooked up with him. Get hooked up with him. Yeah. Whoever well, hooked up with now, let them go. Yeah. They ain't going where you want to go. Go ahead, son. Get hooked up with Jesus. Yeah. So you go to prepare a place hey. for prepare people. Go ahead. Because God is waiting for you. Yeah. A holy God. Hey. For some holy people. Come on. Pray my strength in the Lord. All right. Can't nobody.